Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to another video. Now I've had a lot of questions recently, how do I record my content for Wild Rift and how do I stream my content for Wild Rift? Well, if you're wondering any of those things, this is the video for you. I'll show you the applications, how they work and how I record and stream my content for YouTube and for Twitch. Now in this video, I'll be showing you two programs that you can use. One of them is paid, which is the one that I use for the higher quality streams and for the YouTube videos that you see. And for the free version, this is my backup option if there's ever, ever any problems with my other application. This one's really, really good. It's free, as I said, and it also works really, really well with streaming and recording. The quality is not that great, but it still works perfectly fine. Anyways, enough of me talking. Let's head straight into it. Now the first application is called A Power Mirror. This is the application that I use. As I said before, it's a paid version that I use of this program. Very, very high quality. Haven't had any problems with it since I've started using it. I'll leave the link to this website in the description so you can head straight over there if you wanna check it out. It does have a free trial to it as well so you can give it a go, see what you think of it, and then you can go for the paid version. Download the program when you get to the website. Click on download now, um, it will open up will download a little a mirror setup and then you just want to open that setup as you open it it will tell you to install the program it will tell you your language what folder you want to list it to etc uh, i already have the program installed so i'll show you all how it works now when you first open up the program it will probably tell you to make an account you just have to sign up with your email your name etc things like that but the first thing will come up you've got two options you can either go for the wi-fi which is a screen mirroring option or you can go for the usb option me personally i go for the usb option sometimes the screen mirroring in any application that you use sometimes it can cut off over time so you have to like restart the application and and things like that so for me i just connect the phone to my pc with a usb cable and i connect it like that and when you've got your usb cable plugged into your pc you just connect the other end of the usb cable to the phone and when it connects it will load up the program it will eventually connect it will start connecting and then it will load it up as you can see loads up completely fine not a problem at all you can start playing the game and you can start streaming it. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I go from this screen to my streaming setup of what hap actually happens? So we'll head over there and I'll show you how it works. So I have a program installed called Streamlabs OBS. It's what I use to stream and record all of my content. And it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy to use. Uh, like I said, I won't go into too much detail because it's probably best to do that for another video. What you could do is when you make a new scene, you just go on the plus here, you make yourself a new scene, but we'll stay on this one for now. And then all you have to do is when you go on to sources, you want to add a new source. And when you create a new source, you want to go on to window capture. So you want to capture the window of the A Power software. Click on create a new source. And then from that new source, you want to head down to A Power Mirror live stream. And from there, as you can see, you've got your application there. You can resize the application, you can move the application, you can edit around it as well, you could do some like cool things with it. Um, that's the main way to use it and then from there obviously I've got my banner at the bottom of my stream that gets created from Lion's Creed and it has all my like YouTube, my Twitch etc. Uh, but it's really really easy to use. The great thing about a Power Mirror is that there is no delay between what you actually input on your phone, so when you tap a button, to what actually gets output onto the PC, which is really, really great for streaming, so you don't have to mess around with any delays, try and sync it all up together, it will all be synced for you already. As I said before, this is a paid version, it's $40 a year, which works out about £30 a year. Honestly, for me, it's much better going for this option than spending £150 on El Gato if you feel like you want to start streaming or you want to start recording your games for a long period of time. The only problem I would say you might come into with using the USB version, because you've got your phone plugged into the computer, it doesn't actually power enough to charge up your phone. So if you don't have an up-to-date phone, uh, for me, I have the iPhone XS Max. It works completely fine for me, but if you have an older version, it might struggle and it might die down really, really quickly. Um, but if you have an up-to-date phone, if you have a recent phone, then you should be completely fine. Now this is my second option, it's called Let's View. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description for this website. Again, it works for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, and for your TV. 
you just click on download and when you click on download you will be able to download the software just pick your language go through all the setup options and then once you download it you can launch up the software and when you launch up the software it will look a very very similar to this it is a screen mirroring software so what you have to make sure you do is you connect your phone to the same wi-fi as your computer that you've downloaded the let's view on and then when you're on your phone you just need to make sure you go to your settings and make sure you click on screen mirror and then you will see there that it will have let's on there and you can see now that it's been successfully connected again your audio and everything will be on there as well as your picture so again as you can see wild rift is there and waiting for us to add it to obs the same as with a power mirror you should do the exactly same thing you click on the plus sign on sources you go on to window capture make sure when you go on to window capture that you select one called let's view as you can see there you have the image of wild rift again you just need to move it up a little bit just to make sure that it covers up the let's view make it a little bit bigger and then you are good to go exactly the same as a power mirror as i said the quality is a little bit lower the good thing about screen mirror though is that you can charge your device at the same time so if you do have problems with phone battery or you feel like your phone battery is getting lower and lower this is a good option because you can keep your phone charged into a power supply instead of your computer and you can still screen mirror completely fine that's it for today's video i just thought i'd show you how i stream and how i record my content for wild rift if you have any questions or anything let me know down in the comments see you all very soon